2014 at Ryder Farm and uh, we are just collecting the trays uh, to start sowing seeds and I'm just showing uh, Emily uh, the size of the trays for what kind of crops we are going to sow. So this is a really nice uh, tray. This has got 196 cavity and all you have to do, I will show that later in the video how to fill up the Fill, uh, fill it up with soil and how to sow the seeds but anyway these are really great for uh, uh, early uh, greens like uh, I will use lettuce on this one because uh, I'll be able to put lettuce when they are like four weeks uh, old and I can start uh, I can start sowing, uh, plant them in the field maybe at the end of April or middle of April depend on the uh, weather but they can take the frost and cold and everything and with from this tray I will get 196 uh, seedlings so it's a really great for me and they're individual cavity and so when I will put them in the ground on the bed I can really uh, put them in the space that I want them to be planted so that way it's very easy to uh, just them pop out. them out right yeah. and space them then I can use oregano like, and rosemary thyme um, leeks onion uh, I started some eggplant pepper I have not started it but uh, most probably today or tomorrow so actually in this uh, grow box you can put like 65 trays like this let me show you it just started like two days ago. I put the vein. This is status. It's a flower, mm -hmm. uh, cut flower, and they need like somewhere around eight to ten weeks. Uh, so, hopefully by the end of this weekend, I will have all these trays, and then maybe in two weeks time we can start in the. And greenhouse. Start working with life, you have to, you know, uh, at least with the seeds and uh, and the plant, you have to be, you know, gentle and you have to make a connection with them. Uh, you have to uh, give them the best shot, you know, for them to grow. And uh, and you just have to be gentle. You just have to, like for example, the moment I'm touching this with my hands and everything up here and the soil, you know, the potting soil, there's a, quite a bit of connections in here because I know that I'm going to put a living thing into this, this one, uh, into this uh, each cavity, you know. So the moment, the moment I start doing that, I have made that connection before even I have sown a seed. Mm you know yeah uh, so like for example when i'm doing this with my hand it's like you know like i'm touching a woman <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well, it, it's, it's like, mother earth it's, a, it's a so gentle it's like you know and then i just go no, first then after you do this and then you put a little cap like that so that the soil can settle see now it has settled up here and then all you do so that it's even When I'm pressing it, I just know how deep I should go. You just know from past. Yeah. So one of the things that I always tell in turn, because as I'm doing that for such a long time, I just always tell them that whenever I say something, just try to do that and practice it, and then all of a sudden it will become automatic. So like, now this is all done, now we are going to do, say, red Russian kale. Uh, this is uh, uh, from Petco, it's an organic seed. And uh, I can start them now. And uh, all you have to do, you 
you have to open up the seed packet where it has uh, the glue in it so that you can put it back mm -hmm. again aside. and then all, all you have to do is take your seed and all you need to do is put one in each and if two or three seeds fell don't worry about it don't try to take it out but try to put only one seed uh, we might have to thin them out or we have to break them apart so that uh, we can plant individual uh, plants out of that uh, cavity if like if there are like two or three seeds then there will be two or three plants so when you are planting them in the field then you have to tear them apart mm -hmm. and individual. Uh, so you just drop one seed and these are seeds are really round it's uh, now this is getting little too thick so I have got some more seeds so all I will do is I put some more up here. Now these are all onion, and this is one variety. Uh, is, uh, onion yellow of Burma, and this is called Red Florence. And I'm going to open this up and see how many seeds we got. So now you're just covering up this, the seeds. Okay, and then all I go very mildly so that the seeds are not displaced and um, just even it out a little bit but i'm not pushing the dirt or anything and see this tray is pretty much done got two varieties of onion and i have divided that that way i will know just germinating popping up nice straw flower it's amazing how flat Covering up the peppers with some dirt. I have a uh, uh, off 